This is the glow of hydrogen being heated to more than 100 million degrees Celsius, 10 times the temperature of the sun. Then it happens, nuclear fusion, lasting only five seconds, but breaking a record. We could create a mini sun, hold it there for a sustained period and get really good performance levels, which is a major step forward in terms of our quest to get to, to fusion power plant. Current nuclear power plants use fission, which involves splitting atoms apart. When that happens, they release a lot of energy, but also a lot of radiation and create radioactive waste. Nuclear fusion is the opposite. It takes two hydrogen atoms and fuses them, creating one helium atom. The process creates a lot of energy, but no lasting radiation. Should take it away, yeah. The promise of nuclear fusion is endless clean energy, but the extreme temperatures involved have so far put that goal out of reach. The record amount of energy released was still only enough to power a house for a day, but it proves that a much bigger experiment in France is on the right track. It will generate 500 megawatts of fusion power uh, for near continuous operation. It's been in construction for a decade, and if it comes off, it could pave the way for nuclear fusion power plants. It is really hard, it is very complex, but it's worth it, and we just have to do it for the future. None of this will help get the world to net zero emissions in this half of the century when we need to. But with a bit of luck and hard work, it could power the world in the second half. Michael Slezak, ABC News.